Welcome to another episode of Two Minutes on Tuesday. I'm Sam Miller and this week's topic is going to be about folks waiting, thinking it's a good idea to wait the market out and see if they can save some money. Uh, we hear this a lot. Oh, I think I'm going to wait and just see what the market does. Well, the challenge with that is you're probably paying to live somewhere. And if you've been paying attention to what rents have done, this is where the rents were back in the late 80s to where they are today. As you can see, they went up, up, up and away. They've taken off. Uh, I can remember uh, seeing rentals when I first got in the real estate business back in the late 80s. Uh, you could rent a house for $250 to $400 a month. I mean, a really nice house. And, and today, some of these apartments, two-bedroom apartments, are bringing $800, $900 a month for an apartment in an apartment building. So if you keep paying eight or $900 a month, all that money's gone. You're never going to get it back. So it might as well, you might as well make that purchase now and get in a house. Now, my logic, as you may think, is self-serving. It really isn't. I'll show you why. If you were to look at a $100,000 property today with a $100,000 loan, four and three quarter percent interest for 30 year payment, you're looking at $521 a month for the principal and interest payment. Again, 100,000 at four and three quarter percent. Why this is really important is because if the interest rates move just 1%, let's say they go up just 1% and they've done nothing but go up this year. Let's say they go up 1% from four and three quarter to five and three quarter, you no longer can probably afford a $100,000 property at that point to get the same payment of 521. If the rate goes from four and three quarter to five and three quarter, you now only qualify for $89,000. So you've lost more than $10,000 worth of buying power just with the difference in 1% interest. So my point is it does cost you to wait. It costs you because you lose the idea. You don't get to use the house that you want to live in because you're not living in it because you didn't buy it. So that's once so you don't get the enjoyment of the, of the new property. But in addition to that, you may end up affording a lot less house later as the interest rates go up. And that doesn't factor in uh, that the prices of the home might go up as well. So very, very important. And I'll show you a graph that we pulled. This is the trend of the interest rates this year shows how low they were and shows where they are. And they're projecting the interest rates will continue to go up because the job market is very healthy. Uh, employment across the country is very strong. And when the job market is rolling, that's usually when they bump the interest rates up. So, you know, you have an option and that's buy now before the, the payments go up because you'll get the lower interest rate. Uh, and the other incentive would be you buy before the prices go up any further. They're actually saying for Ohio, I've got a graph here. They're saying Ohio in the next 12 months will probably go up 4.6% in home prices. Well, if it's a $100,000 house, your $100,000 house, if it plays true, will end up being between 104 and 105,000, which means you end up getting less house for your money when the pricing goes up. So another motivation for you to make a move sooner instead of renting and burning your money. Now, depending on what price range, a lot of people might be in a different range. I'll show you the same example. A $150,000 house at four and three quarter is 782. If that rate moves just 1%, you're only gonna be at a four to $134,000 house to get the same payment if it runs from four and three quarter to five and three quarter, payment's the same, 782, you just get a house that's $16,000 less in value, which means it probably has less features or needs more updating. So there is a reason not to sit on the sideline and wait. And you know, most people never think of it that way. They just think the longer they wait, the more money they save. The reality is you may save a little bit of money, but you're burning it in rent that's not going towards anything anyway. So anyway, I thought this would just be a different perspective, might be helpful. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to give us a call, 740-397-7800, or feel free to email us at samsells at samdiller.com. Until next week, thanks for watching. Bye.